Martin, welcome to the Center on Governance at the University of Ottawa. Today, I would like to have a discussion with you about a fascinating concept that you have developed and that you call the bamboo strategy. But first of all, to understand the context of this concept, can you tell me more about your own background? Thank you, Eric, for receiving me here today. I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, it's interesting because this, there's a whole story behind this concept. And as you say, starts with my background. I have a very eclectic uh, background that involves different disciplines with different principles. Uh, originally, I have, I have a, a training, I have a, a master's in clinical psychology. Uh, and I've been working in clinical, clinical psychology for a while. At the same time, I, I've been doing the National Conservatory of Drama Art, so I'm a professional actor. At the same time, I'm a martial artist. I love martial arts, and I've been doing that for a while as well. And, and on, on the top of that, I have my academic background. I'm a master's, and I have a PhD in innovation and strategy, and I have all my corporate and private experience uh, in the real world. So basically, when you combine all those things together, magic happens and there's a new way of approaching strategy in today's world. Given this diverse background, uh, how has it influenced your vision for management? Well, actually, it's very interesting because uh, since all my training and my studies in the last 15, 20 years, I've been learning a lot about different tools that have been developed since the 80s, actually, and we have all these strategy tools and leadership tools, which of course uh, were very insi insightful at, at, some, at some point in time. But today, when we, when we see the, the turbulence and the dynamic speed of change that we exper experience on a regular basis, I start to feel that whatever we, we learned in the past is not attuned and suitable for the demands of the current situation that we are in the world we are living today. So this is a little bit the background. Now I would like to turn to this interesting metaphor that you have developed that you call the bamboo strategy. Can you tell me more about this concept? Well, as a martial artist, I, 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 I've been very exposed and familiar to the bamboo uh, as a plant, right? We know that the bamboo is a green plant that is, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful thing to see. But uh, astonishingly, I have, I have seen and acknowledged that there are so many properties from the bamboo itself that can be extrapolated in a metaphorical fashion and concrete fashion to anything we do with business, strategy, leadership, and even your personal life. For example, one of the main um, properties of bamboo is that it's extremely strong. It's one of the strongest plants on earth. But at the same time, it's a plant that is very, very flexible. So for example, in martial arts, if you're gonna hit the bamboo, it's gonna be bending and being very flexible, but will not break. Mm -hmm. And that's a very important point because rigidity means you're gonna get broken and you can break your bones. But when you can be weak at the same time and more flexible, things happen in a different fashion. This is a principle that can be applied to leadership strategy and so on and, and, and other disciplines. Another property of the bamboo is that it's the fastest growing plant on earth. Uh, sounds very um, surprising, but the bamboo can grow up to one meter and 20 centimeters, one, one meter and 20 centimeters per day. So you can literally watch the bamboo growing in the same day. So generally what happens is what? The bamboo is going to grow so fast and it's going to be sustainable and renewable very fast because the pace of growth is astronomical. And again, when we talk about business, this is a very, very important concept. Another thing about the bamboo is that it's deeply rooted. It has roots that are very, very strong. So in times of uh, turbulence, for example, when we talk about natural disasters, mm -hmm. and we are going to see infrastructures getting broken, the rigidity of the structure, the hard side. However, who is going to be standing still is going to be the bamboo because of the strength of their rudeness. When we talk about uh, companies with very strong visions and very clear DNA, those are the companies that are gonna be standing still even in crisis time, mm -hmm. which is very, very interesting. Another thing about the bamboo is the amount of affordances and possibilities and the versatility of it, its own uses. 
You can use the bamboo for fashion. You can use the bamboo for construction purposes. You can use the bamboo for, for creating music and beautiful melodies. You can use the bamboo for shelter. There are so many usages that you can employ the, the bamboo. And again, it's very important because it gives you the, a large spectrum of possibilities and flexibility. Uh, another thing about the bamboo that is very, very interesting is its level of efficiency. Meaning what? The bamboo requires minimum nut nutrition uh, to grow actually is very low maintenance and can grow in very, very difficult uh, uh, fields. However, once the bamboo grows very fast, after three or four months, it has achieved its maximum potential of growth. It's going to engage in corpor corporate social responsibility, if you want. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? It's going to create a very propitious field for other plants to grow and start developing themselves thanks to the nutrition that are given back to society. Mm. Another thing about the bamboo is that can be renewed over time because once you use the bamboo after four months, you c it's going to take only three or four months to renew again. So as we said before, the speed of growth and the r uh, renewable aspect of bamboos for sustainability and green management is fascinating, mm. right? We don't have to wait for five years, 10 years to have it again. After three, four months, here we go again. And another thing about the bamboo, to conclude, is its capacity of resilience. Mm. Even though the bamboo has been punished by nature or by very strong winds, always comes back mm. and comes back stronger. And finally, can you give me a concrete example on how to apply this principle to the public sector? It, it's interesting because uh, the, this bamboo properties, this strategy can be applied to the public sector, can be applied to the, to the corporate world, to the private sector, and to your own life. And for example, if we want to talk about the, pri uh, the, the public sector, you think about, for example, governments like uh, the Canadian government or the Dubai government, right? All governments, generally speaking, they have a very clear vision mm -hmm. and they have a very clear DNA. There are certain values that are going to characterize them and the decisions they're going to be taking or adopting generally should be decisions that come from inside out and are decisions that really are aligned with their vision, with their rudeness and the groundness of the, uh, of the government itself. So when we talk about the bamboo, that's exactly what they do. Mm. So there you can see a very clear example where uh, a, a government that has a very clear vision with very clear values is going to operate within a frame that really makes sense and is loyal to its own corporate values and to its own national values as well. Yeah. That's an example. Another thing is when we talk about efficiency. Governments, they try to be as effective and efficient as possible, like the bamboo. The bamboo basically, as we said before, is very efficient in the amount of resources that it requires to grow. A government, generally, when, when we are talking about smart governments, or, 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 or is, is about trying to be as efficient as possible maximizing the utilization, for example, of technologies to provide outstanding services to their citizens. So there's, here's where you can see how the bamboo strategy can really find clear analogies in the actions of governments that strive to offer tremendous services to their citizens. Another thing about the government is they want to create well-being um, and richness for their citizens and it's about giving back because we are servants. Mm -hmm. In the bamboo strategy, it's the same. The bamboo, once it has achieved its maximum capacity and growth, it's going to give back to society. It's going to give back to other plants. Mm -hmm. And it's going to create propitious uh, policies that are going to incentivize entrepreneurship, uh, innovation development, education. And it's exactly the same. It's about how we can give back to society in a very smart fashion and at the same time with limited resources. So these are just some few applications that we can put in place drawing up on these insights that come from the bamboo strategy. Martin, thank you so much for sharing your thought on management and governance. This is really appreciated. Thank you for the invitation. My pleasure.